Hi guys, today we're going to be looking at the HMRC Online Services and also known as the Government Gateway. HMRC's Online Services is an amazing tool to view and manage all of your personal and business taxes all in one place, all online. You could be able to look at taxes such as your CIS, stamp duty. You could be looking at taxes such as your corporation tax, VAT tax, personal income tax. Um, we're going to be able to download your VAT certificates as well as set up payment plans and direct debits for uh, your government payments, as well as being able to authorize your agents easily and simply. So there's an amazing variety of what you can actually do with these services. And we recommend everyone from being an employee all the way to being a business owner should look at the personal government gateway. And we're gonna show you how to log on to it with this video uh, and see what sort of services we can do on this one. But there are a lot more than what we show you in this video, depending on the size of your business or depending on your personal situations. And I think going on there, looking at that yourself will help you manage your taxes in general. So first you're going to start on your favorite website, which of course is bluerocketaccounting.com. You're going to make your way and Google Government Gateway, and it's also known as HMRC Online Services. Once you click on the link, you're going to click on Sign In. We'd recommend that you save this current page for future. Once you've done that, you can scroll down to create sign-in details and you're going to enter your email address. Once you've entered your email address, you're going to be sent a six-digit code and you must enter this so it can verify your email. Your email has been confirmed. Press continue. Now enter your full name, including any middle names. Press continue. Now you'll need to create a password for your government gateway. We do suggest having an extremely strong password for your government gateway, as there are a lot of sensitive information on the account. Once you have uh, used to put in a password, you're going to receive your government gateway. Now, this is extremely important that you keep this safe as this is almost your username for your government gateway. And uh, yeah, very important. I am saving this as a PDF so um, I can put it into my documents, but you're also going to get an email of this code. You can write it down, do whatever you need to to keep it safe. And you're going to be using this over and over when you log into government gateway. Once you're happy, press continue. You're gonna choose the type of account that you are. For sole traders and employees, uh, you would put individual. If you own a limited company or a business, then you would put an organization. In our example here, we're gonna put we're an organization and it's asking us for more security checks. Here, we're gonna be setting up our two-factor authentication. You can do this in multiple ways, but in our case, we're going to put text message and it's going to send a code to our mobile phone so that it can input that to make sure that it's us. The more modern version is using the authentication app. Once we've set up our two-factor authentication, additional security, we're going to press continue. and we're into our government gateway account. Now it's gonna be pretty bare until we start adding the taxes necessary for our personal situation. There are some items that you can do on there already, but we're going to add in the taxes. And the first tax that I'm gonna add, add on in this particular case is corporation tax. And that's because our example owns a limited company. We need to put our company UTR number into this particular box. And we need to put one of the following three into these boxes, which is the company registration number, the company registered office um, postcode, or that the fact uh, that the company isn't registered in the UK. Here we're going to put the company number. This can be found on Companies House if you do not know it. 
companies house, you don't need any logins. And there we go, simple as that, we've added in our corporation tax account to our government gateway. Now that we have the corporation tax added, they are going to send an authentication code to the address of that limited company. And that again is for security, just to make sure that they're adding on the right company. Once you receive the code through the door, you're gonna go back onto government gateway, input the code, and that will authorize that company as being managed by yourself. The next tax we're gonna add on is our self-assessment individual tax. But this is also relevant for trusts, partnerships, and making tax digital for income tax. In our particular case, we do have a UTR, so we are gonna press yes. Of course, if you don't have your UTR number yet, you're gonna press no. Once we punch in our UTR number, we press continue. In our particular case, we are an individual slash, uh, well, we're not a sole trader, we are an individual. We're gonna put in our national insurance number. Now with this, they're going to ask for more identity checks, and this is gonna be uh, deeper identity checks than we have previously done. So what you're going to need is, um, you need to enter your full name, full last name, date of birth. You're going to put in your national insurance number again. With these steps, you will be putting in the same information over and over. So it's better to get it all done in one hit, I think. As mentioned, it's going to ask you for additional information and you can get additional information from the following, passport, driver's license, P60 or pay slips, self-assessment if you've done one, tax credit or credit record. Passport and driver's license is the easiest to do, so I do recommend that. In our particular case, we're just gonna put in the information from a driver's license or passport, but you can match your face against the documents such as a driver's license. As mentioned, you're going to select the documents that you want to use for additional security. And in our case, we're going to select driver's license, which is a England Scotland and Wales driver's license. And you do need to select two items, not just one. This is you consenting to sharing your information with HMRC and vice versa with the DVLA. And in this section, you're gonna input the information from your driver's license. And you're just gonna follow the steps that are on screen, input your surname, issue number, expiry date, and license number. And once you've done your driver's license, you're gonna click continue, and then you're gonna input the information on your passport. In this particular section, you need to put your given names, and that's all names, including your middle names, excluding your surname, which we put into a separate box down below. You're gonna put in your passport number, and you're gonna put in your date of expiry. Once you've punched in the correct information, you're going to have passed your identity checks. Uh, you're going to be able to use your self-assessment account straight away. So there we are. They're not going to send you an authentication code for your self-assessment, only for the corporation tax. As mentioned, Government Gateway is extremely useful and you'll be able to manage, view, and do a lot more with your taxes, VAT, payroll, CIS, personal tax, 
easily and simply on the tips of your fingers, on your phone, on your mobile, via the internet. We hope you found this information useful. If you do need help with Government Gateway, do feel free to give us a call. Something else you're able to do with Government Gateway is authorise your agent, and that means authorise your accountant to look at your taxes. And you can do that by going to Manage Account, scroll down to View and choose Agent. In this particular case, the business owner has already got us as the agent, but you can change and add the agent as you please by going into this section and following the stages to do so. So that's me, Daniel Pritchard from Blue Rocket Accounting. It's not rocket science, it's just great accounting. Thank you.